Let's pray. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, you have blessed Highlands Latin School with the joy and care of these students. Give this faculty strength and wisdom as they teach, that they may lead these students to love whatever is just and true and good, following the example of our Savior, Jesus Christ. God, our Father, show these students that your ways give more life than the ways of the world, and that following you is better than chasing after selfish goals. Help them to take failure, not as a measure of their worth, but as a chance for improvement. Give them strength to hold their faith in you and to keep alive their joy in your creation. O oh, eternal God, bless this school, that we may be a place of sound learning, hard work, and the pursuit of wisdom. And grant that those who teach and those who learn may find you to be the source of all truth. We pray all this in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. All creatures of our God and King, sing Alleluia. Everyone say Alleluia. Alleluia. I want to hear you sing that beautifully. Everyone, even if you haven't seen this before, you'll be able to join in on the Alleluias, okay? All right, we join together as we sing.
Welcome to the 2022 opening school ceremony. I want to take just a short moment to thank the students, the seniors, and the teachers who helped uh, last night and uh, early this morning uh, trying to set up all the chairs and, and wipe down the chairs as much as possible. Uh, events like this don't take place without a lot of concerted effort from a lot of people and our students and teachers always step up and thank you so much for, for doing that. But a campus, a campus like this only comes to life when the students are present. Without students, a campus is simply a, a collection of buildings and some empty desks. In the summer, these buildings and classrooms get remodeled, they get repainted, but we are always preparing for the day when the students return to school. We spend our summers preparing for this day. This summer, we have been extremely busy, preparing for about 750 students to attend Highlands Latin School at our campus here at Spring Meadows and also at Crescent Hill. We have 75 teachers ready to provide quality instruction and care. There are about 20, 25 HLS support staff, which are here to support the teachers, the parents, and the students throughout this school year. We have 65 kindergartners ready to begin their HLS careers. We have a record number of freshmen at 48, I believe, starting high school this year. And our senior class is the largest to date at 37. We have our hands full this year, but with God's grace, we will be successful. Mrs. Lowe's vision of a premier classical Christian school is alive and strong. Through her courage, tenacity, and vision, she created a home where we can shape the heart, form the soul, and develop wisdom and virtue. By God's grace, our resolve and determination to serve our students well is very high. We will succeed this year with your su support and God's blessing. Mrs. Lowe would give an exhortation at the opening school ceremony every year. Her words were always inspiring and with clear purpose. Mrs. Lowe left us with a treasure of notes and instructions, but she also left us with the gift of an opening school ceremony and her exhortations. I can think of no one better than Mrs. Lilo to lead us into this school year. Mrs. Lilo is Mrs. Lowe's daughter-in-law, but also one of Mrs. Lowe's most trusted and very first Latin instructors from over 20 years ago. She and her husband, Brian Lowe, have continued her mom's vision of giving the students of Highlands Latin School and across the United States, for that matter, the true gift of a classical Christian school. So thank you, Lee and Brian, for all that you've done for the school and for all the students that are here. And now I'd like to invite Mrs. Lilo to the podium. Welcome to the 2022-23 school year. We thank God for this glorious summer morning, for the gift of life, for the gift of children, and for the gift of education. It is a joy and a privilege to address you this year, at the beginning of our 23rd academic year, with the words of our founder, Cheryl Lowe. In partnership with parents and guided by the gospel, we are committed to helping students develop their intellectual gifts to the highest standards of the classical tradition. We are committed to character and faith formation. We are committed to helping students grow in knowledge, wisdom, and in the love of our Lord so that they may more ably use their gifts in the service of others and for the glory of Christ and his church. A Highlands Latin School education is built on a strong and lasting foundation, a foundation of three universal languages, Latin, mathematics, and music, a foundation of reading classics to develop wisdom and virtue, and the foundation of a living faith. A classical education is a pearl of great price and worthy of the highest efforts of our teachers and students because it aspires to give not only knowledge, but wisdom. An education in wisdom combines two sources of light, the divine light that shines forth from the holy scriptures and from our Christian faith, and a lesser light that shines forth in those great classics of Greece and Rome. The providence of God has prepared these two ancient sources of light, which have been combined into what has been hallowed by tradition and has withstood the test of time, that is, a classical education. 
A classical Christian education presents to the young great heroes, models that illuminate the meaning and purpose of life. The divine light of scripture tells us of Abraham, who was called by God to leave his home and set forth unto a land that he had never seen. Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee and I will make of thee a great nation. Abraham is a great hero of faith, a model for us all. For we all step out in faith every day to walk into a future we cannot see, to fulfill God's plan for our lives. And the lesser light of our classical heritage tells us of Aeneas, who was called by fate to set out from the burning walls of Troy to wander the Mediterranean and to finally establish the foundation for the great city of Rome. We learn from Aeneas the sacrifice needed to fulfill one's destiny. For as Virgil tells us, oh, how great was the suffering required to found the high walls of Rome. Aeneas was a great hero of the city of man. Neither Abraham nor Aeneas could see the future in which their two cities would intersect, the holy city of Jerusalem and the eternal city of Rome. They could not divine God's plan in which a savior would come forth from the nation of Israel and found a new kind of city that would conquer the nation of Rome. But both were faithful to their call. Pious Aeneas and faithful Abraham teach us that God's plan for each of our lives is part of a greater plan, a mystery we can see only dimly. Yes, we walk by faith, not by sight. Students, in a few moments, you will walk into your future. Remember to always honor, respect, and obey your parents and teachers. Be kind to your classmates. Study hard, strive for excellence, develop your gifts to the best of your ability. For like Abraham, God has a plan for your life. And like Aeneas, you have a destiny to fulfill. Let us stand as we sing together, O God who gives a human heart a searching heart and questing mind.
Let us pray. We give you thanks, merciful God, for the instruction and direction which we will receive. Grant us your grace that we may remember our lessons and carry them into action for your glory and our eternal salvation. We beg you, loving Father, pour forth your blessings upon our parents and superiors, our teachers and benefactors, and reward them abundantly for all the good which they have brought to us. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Teachers, please stand. Parents, please draw comfort and strength in knowing that these HLS teachers are extremely well prepared, motivated, and enthusiastic about teaching your children. Teachers, know that you are not alone in your endeavors. Administrators support you and are here to help you. Thank you for all of your preparation. May your classrooms be sanctuaries for sound learning, new discoveries, and the pursuit of wisdom and virtue. And may you lead your students to ably use their gifts in the service of others and for the glory of Christ and his church. Please be seated. Students, before dismissal, I want to charge you with Mrs. Lowe's exhortation that she shared during every opening school ceremony. Students, in a few moments, you will walk out into the future. Remember always to honor, respect, and obey your parents and teachers, and be kind to your classmates. Study hard, strive for excellence, and develop your gifts to the best of your ability. Now at this time, I have the honor of dismissing our senior class. The class of 2023 includes 37 seniors. These seniors are students of sound character, being good examples of everything that HLS students stand for. We know that they will take their leadership role at Highlands Latin School seriously. Students, the seniors sitting here with you today have been through what awaits you this year. They have learned, they have struggled, they have persevered, and they have succeeded. They are what we hope you become someday. someday. Our seniors deserve to be recognized at the beginning of the year a foretaste of the recognition they will receive at the end of the academic year. Seniors, when I call your name, would you please stand? Micah Arnold, Lydia Baum, Julia Bippus, Max Bramer, Sam Bramer, Audrey Colburn, Peyton Dick, Zach Frizzell, Grace Garrison, Laura Gibson, Marlo Hannell, Maria Ingram, Samantha Kang, Trevor Kimball, Sophie Crumhansel, Michael Aprell, Tess McGar, Danny Mangione, Meredith McFarland, Grant McGill, Stella Montgomery, Marissa Mudd, Luke Nicholas, Ali Pierre, Lily Price, Myla Pryor, Mason Rizzo, Jackson Robbins, Eli Robson, Jane Singleton, Anna Sterley, Rafe Tenbarge, Elia Trocan, Brendan Vanderwoody, Mary Claire Vonderheide, McKay Wheatley, and Aaron Whitmer. Your names will be, will be called again at the end of the year. At that time, you will not stand, but walk toward receiving the highest honor at HLS. In the interim, we are counting on your faithful, selfless leadership and your willingness to serve others. You will face many challenges along the way, but you will be supported by your parents and teachers. Do not be afraid to ask for help. Continue to give the effort that you are accustomed to giving. We are all very proud of you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Highlands Latin School senior class. <laughs> seniors and teachers, walking with the seniors, you are now dismissed to class.
I will now dismiss our lower school, beginning with our youngest students. Would Mrs. Colburn's, Mrs. Rayleigh's, Mrs. Campione's classes please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, the Highlands Latin School kindergarten class. <laughs> Teachers and students, you are dismissed to class. Would Mrs. Baird's and Mrs. Zemiska's classes please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, the Highlands Latin School first grade class. <laughs> Teachers and students, you are dismissed to class. Would Mrs. Lang's and Mrs. Wheat's classes please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, the Highlands Latin School second grade class. <laughs> Teachers and students, you are dismissed to class. Would Mrs. Whitney's and Mrs. Bender's classes please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, the Highlands Latin School third grade class. <laughs> Teachers and students, you are dismissed to class. Would Mr. Gartman's and Ms. Hancock's classes please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, the Highlands Latin School fourth grade class. <laughs> Teachers and students, you are dismissed to class. Would Ms. Robertson's and Mrs. Weeks' classes please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, the Highlands Latin School fifth grade class. <laughs> Teachers and students, you are dismissed to class. Would Mrs. Sammons and Mr. Fletcher's classes please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, the Highlands Latin School, sixth grade class. <laughs> Teachers and students, you are dismissed to class. Would the seventh grade class and teachers please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, the Highlands Latin School, seventh grade class. <laughs> Teachers and students, you are dismissed to class. Would the eighth grade class and teachers please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, the Highlands Latin School eighth grade class. <laughs> teachers and students, you are dismissed to class. Would the ninth grade class and teachers please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, the Highlands Latin School ninth grade class. <laughs> teachers and students, you are dismissed. Would the 10th grade class and teachers please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, the Highlands Latin School 10th grade class. Teachers and students, you are dismissed to class. And finally, would the 11th grade class and teachers please stand? Ladies and gentlemen, the Highlands Latin School 11th grade class. <laughs> teachers and students, you are dismissed to class. <laughs> Parents, Thank you for honoring your child by participating in the opening school ceremony. The start of a school year is a time to rejoice. Your children are blessings to us and we thank you for sharing them. Know that they are very capable, in very capable hands. With your prayers, support, trust, and cooperation, we look forward to another successful year at Highlands Latin School.